This morning, a story of one soldier's service and sacrifice and how his family found a way to carry on and help others, all in their son's memory. Watch this. We always describe Brian as the really true all-American boy. He grew up in a small West Texas town. He played sports. We didn't have to teach him morals or right and wrong. He had that all figured out all by himself at a very young age. He loved everything about America and everything it stood for. Brian decided to enlist right after 9-11. I remember the first time he came home and you could tell he was different, that he had changed, which we had expected. You know, he's been at war. Brian was easily an, an ultimate role model for his men. You know, they, he treated them like family. There was even a tradition Brian had before they go on a mission. He would kiss each of their helmets. I woke up. The phone was ringing, and it was my daughter-in-law, Tiffany, telling me that Brian had been killed in Afghanistan early that morning. And he was, uh, his, his unit was 16 days from coming home, and, uh, and he was just gone. There's no last goodbyes. There's no last chance to say, I'm, I'm proud of you for what you're doing. We put the flag up on the mantle, you know, and we're just done. There's, there's nothing left. We had his medals and we had a hole in our heart. We're to the point where we're barely communicating because there's nothing left to say. He's shattered because we can't be the only people that are struggling with this kind of loss. You know, military families, you hold your breath during that whole deployment and Gold Star families never get to exhale. We never get to let go of that because we're never going to hear that ever again. It's never going to be, Dad, I'm okay. Dad, it's me. It's just gone. And that's, that's, that's what being a Gold Star family is. You learn how to carry that. Terry is the author of a new book, When Our Blue Star Turned Gold. He's here with his wife, Brian's stepmother, Beth. Welcome to both of you. Thank oh, you thank so you. much for being here. And that was a beautiful tribute. <laughs> you knew from when he was a little boy that Brian was a leader and had a, a real heart of gold. He did. He had a very, very special spirit. One of the stories that we share about him is, is at Easter time. Uh, we were with a friend's house, the Easter egg hunt, and the prize for the Easter egg hunt was this huge cellophane wrapped basket with toys and candy. Brian won the basket. Some of the moms are going, who's this kid? You know, won my kid's basket. You know, he's getting all the prizes. And Brian stepped forward and he unwrapped it. And then he stepped away from it and he said, dig in. Aww. And he let every kid there and some of those moms take that candy wow. and, and the toys before he took one piece. And that's when I knew this, you know, my son has a very special wow. spirit. He's, he's going to do very well. And part of that spirit, I think, drove you both to, to realize that you weren't the only ones suffering this kind of right. loss and decided to do something for other Gold Star families. Yes, sir. The more that we looked for help for ourselves, Beth actually started it. She was the one that was helping me get out of bed in the mornings. Oh. Hmm. She started looking, and she didn't really find anything for the parents. So along with a, a good friend of ours at the time that was a long part of the PGR, and she said, why don't we test this and see if other parents would be interested in coming, sharing their stories and talking to you. So our first retreat was held down in Lakey, Texas. It spelt like Leaky. But <laughs> no, nobody wants to stay in the Can historic we... Leaky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not, that's no, you can't no. call it Leaky. So we had about 40 parents show mm -hmm. up to our very first retreat, and this was before we even became an official 501c3. And they loved the retreat. They, they were able to share stories. We had a parent there that had not talked about 
her son's son loss in two years. years. In, two years. Wow. in two years. She didn't know what to say. She didn't know who to talk to. So she was finally able to open up and talk to us about her son's loss. And you do this once a year. And tell us about some of the reaction and the families who come together and what they get out of going to the Gold Star Retreat. I think it's just a place where you can come, as I said on there, you can come and you can breathe again. And you can be around people who've been through something similar and people you, that you know you can, you can ask questions. You can say, did you go through this? Did you, how did you deal with this? Mm -hmm. Because there's so many things that are unique about a military loss that people don't know. And so it's just a chance to come together and just really be around people. Community. Who, community it of is. people who understand what you've been through. You wanted something, you couldn't find it, so you started it. You are um, really honoring your son. You're gonna stay with us. <laughs> when we come back, we'll hear firsthand from a couple who attended one of these retreats. We'll be right back. And we're back now with Terry and Beth Burgess, who started Gold Star Parents Retreat to help parents of fallen soldiers. Their son, Staff Sergeant Brian Burgess, was killed in action in 2011. Joining us now are Mike and Delicia Bozo, who lost their son, Colby in 2015, and they actually attended one of those retreats. We, we thank you for your sacrifice, thank your you. service, and thank you so much for being here and sharing this. And, and you guys, you, you lost Colby, not in action, but still no less tragically, in, in a car accident. What happened? He had uh, been married for 90 days. He was in between deployments. Uh, he had made two deployments, and uh, he had been, again, he had been married 90 days, coming home from a sonogram appointment. Mm. Uh, their first child was due in three weeks. Uh, a person who had just been out of prison on a previous murder charge oh. was being chased by the police. In a stolen vehicle. And uh, he was T-boned. He was killed instantly. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's how we lost our son. Uh, the baby and Kristen, his beautiful wife, they're 100%. Oh, they're goodness. in great shape. Thank goodness. But we lost our son. And this retreat, y'all just attended it. You've lost your family, your, your son, but have you in some ways gained this new family? Oh, yes. I saw y'all talking about backstage. There's a, yeah. there's a chapter in his book and it says, uh, family is not always by blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, there are a lot of dynamics when you lose a child. It doesn't matter if your son or daughter was a, a soldier. Um, there's a grief. And, there is a grief. And Terry and Beth, this Gold Star Retreat, these are for families. It's not necessarily, you know, those killed in combat. These are, you know, for, for you, a Gold Star family is all our veterans who are suffering, whose families are suffering, right? That is exactly right. If your son or daughter wore the, son, wore the cloth of our nation, if they raised the right hand and took that oath, mm -hmm. you're welcome. We, uh, we never, yeah, we said from the beginning we would make no, there's no distinction between how your child was killed mm -hmm. because we knew statistically how, there are 8,000 combat deaths, but there's no one who's having any, keeping any statistics on non-combat related incidents. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets put into that category no matter what happened. Mm -hmm. And so for us, I know, I know how hard we struggled and I know the support and I know the love we got. I can't imagine having lost Brian some other way, and you don't get that. We had a, a couple that came and said, you know, my son died right before he was getting ready to deploy. His name's not ever gonna be on a wall, mm -hmm. ever. She oh. said, we got a folded flag, we're very sorry for your loss, and we got sent home. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that are struggling even more so than, than the combat. So those are the people that we wanted to come to our retreat. Talk about what the retreat was like. Tell us what you did and, and, and how it helped heal you. It, it, it just helped to be able to talk to someone that really understands what we're going through. But uh, they had some neat activities that, you know, we could, the, these rocks that they brought that said breathe. Sometimes oh, no. we have to be reminded to breathe. Yeah. You know, just, Beth, you, you said something in this piece that, that struck, I think, all of us. Mm -hmm. that, you had to learn how to be married again. Mm -hmm. That there was, it was such a tragic loss. It, it shatters not just you know, your lives, but <clears throat> your relationship. It did. It, I'm, and I tell people that I, I lost my husband that day. Mm. I lost the person I thought I would always be able to lean on. I can't because he is completely shattered. And so I have to figure out, how am I going to carry this? How am I going to do this for the two of us? And literally, we had to learn how to be married to each other all over again. Was that the same thing for you guys? Um, 
It no, was different for us. We leaned on each other we became a lot. rock solid. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's something I've learned that was really important with people going through a, a loss of a child. Uh, there's so many different ways you grieve. And there's no right and there's no wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. But thanks to you all, you're grieving together. <laughs> yes. 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 Found a place. Beth, really quickly, you've got a tattoo on your arm. What is that? Oh, that is, I was in a bookstore and I was having a really hard day and I saw a book and the woman had lost her mother and her best friend and her dog. All within oh, a year. Wow. And the name of the book was New Life, No Instructions. <gasps> and that's what we got. You're helping yeah. wow. people instructions. New instructions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're helping so with much. so many families. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here and sharing those stories. We'll be right back. Thank, Thank you again. <laughs>